Hello, Trionic 7 viewers. My name is Ole, and this is my Saab 95 2003 Vector. Uh, I have the 2.3 liter motor with a manual transmission. Today I will be replacing the left and right motor mount. And here is the engine. And the problem that I'm having is that when I shift up from first to second and from second to third, I have this quite loud clonking sound. Right there, when I shifted from first to second gear, and there again, from second to third gear. It was right there, after I shifted from second to third gear. Uh, and uh, I believe it is the engine mounts that are worn and possibly cracked and uh, I've already replaced the uh, bushings for the torque rod as you can see down there the power flex bushings that you can see how to replace in another Trionic 7 video but today I'll be focusing on the left side the driver side motor mount which is under the battery tray and the right side mount so first up, remove the battery cover and next we'll be taking out the battery. So start by removing the negative terminal and next remove the positive. So next we got to remove this thing that locks the battery in place. So just use a 13 millimeter socket to unscrew this and just lift it out. And now you can just lift out the battery. And here is our battery tray, which we're also going to remove now. So we got to take the fuse this, this fuse holder out and it's held together by two clips so just pull on them and pull it out so next we got to take the, the fuse box out as well this here is a 10 millimeter use a 10 millimeter socket and here are two more 10 millimeter nuts that we gotta re remove. We don't have to fully remove this, we just gotta make sure that it gets out of the way. I think I'm gonna get a, a strap to keep it up here. Okay, so here is the transmission mount or the, the left engine mount that we're gonna take out. Don't see any real obvious damage, well maybe this doesn't look too good. So before we can remove this we need to jack up the transmission just a bit to put some support under it. We're using a jack stand and a bit of wood. Okay, I hope that's enough. So with the transmission jacked up you can see it down there. Now we're gonna remove these four bolts holding the mount in place and they're all 16 millimeters and we haven't used any any kind of penetrating fluid but they're actually not that bad to get off So I dropped the socket, but <laughs> I found it on the ground, luckily. The rear ones, a lot harder now. This one <laughs> doesn't really want to come out, but just be patient. Okay, so now we have to remove the, the big nut in the middle. And that's 
a 18 millimeter. Just gotta use a bit of force on that one. All right, came off quite easily in the end. Okay, so now supposedly I should just be able to lift this out. And there it is. It actually doesn't look too bad. It's got some cracks here in the rubber. But I would say that this is in better shape than I would have thought. The left one is the new one, which isn't completely new, because these are expensive mounts and this car has over 360,000 kilometers on it. But at least the new one, it had something like 50,000 kilometers. It has a lot less cracks in the rubber. So we'll just slide the new one in. Not back on. It doesn't matter which one goes in where. We're gonna tighten the center nut. It should be really tight though. So next, we, we're gonna reinstall everything. Make sure that it fits in the right place. You can use the socket, just make sure that they're, they're snug. Don't over tighten. Okay, next we're gonna put the battery tray back in. It's supposed to just click in and these clips hold it. Okay, next we reinstall the battery. Just drop it into place. Lock, keep the battery in place. And the long bolt. Just use the 13 millimeter socket to get it back until it's snug. Okay, good. Next, put the positive terminal back and <laughs> and since we're going to replace the next one as well, we'll just keep this unplugged until we're all finished. Okay, so we'll start by removing the engine cover. Just carefully lift it up. The first step is that we have moved the jack stand from the transmission. And um, I couldn't find a better place than to place it beneath the oil pan. Um, I didn't really want to put pressure on the oil pan because of fear of damaging it somehow but I can't find a better place for it so I'll just apply a very small amount of pressure and uh, make sure to use this piece of wood between and we don't have to jack it up that much we just want it to give some support to the engine. Okay, that should well, maybe that should be enough. Bolts, two on this side and two on this side. There's 16 millimeters that we need to loosen to get this. I think it's called the elk horn off. Okay, so I dropped my <laughs> I dropped my spanner into the engine bay, and uh, I had to reach down to get it up. <laughs> so next up, we'll remove the the center nut, which again is an 18 millimeter. Uh, 
and hopefully on this side when we put it back on we can we have place enough for the torque wrench there's there's a 10 millimeters bolt attached to this metal clip but unfortunately I don't have a 10 millimeter socket that fits in this hole so we'll have to wait with that one and you can get it out even though that's still on there apparently the clip is it's a bit broken so <laughs> that's quite easy so now we'll just remove these three bolts and I think they're all 13 millimeters and we can tell right away that this is moving probably too easy And the third one is out and they're all the same length on this side as well so now with the three bolts removed we can just lift this out the newer one is a little bit higher which is good there's this one looks pretty good but but it has sunk in after all those miles and years and this one is in better shape it sits about a centimeter higher up so we just take the newer one, just place it there, and we'll start putting those bolts back. Okay, I've hand tightened these, and then I'll just use the spanner to make sure that they're snug and I don't know the the real <laughs> name for this part but I've seen it referred to as as the Alcorn make sure that it gets in the right place there it is and I can tell right away that this is higher up because there's quite a bit big gap now between this part and the engine okay after we jacked up the engine a bit more the gap is now considerably smaller so we'll try to reinstall the bolts now before tightening these four bolts I'm gonna tighten this up the center bolt up That looks good enough. So now we can keep tightening up these. And as you can see from the gap between this and the engine, this is gonna, the new motor mount is gonna make the engine sit a little bit higher, as it should. Again, make sure that you don't drop your tools like I've done. Okay, so these should be, I got the torque specs for these. These should be 36 foot pounds. Yes. And the big one in the middle. That's 78 foot pounds. Which is quite a lot. Yeah. And uh, lastly, just put the, the engine cover back on. And be careful with those plastic clips. And of course, don't forget to connect the negative terminal 
on the battery before you try to start the engine. So after a short test drive, I can report that the sound is not gone, but it is less prominent. It doesn't do it as often. But to get it completely away, I'll have to replace the rear motor mount as well. Which is, I don't know if you can see it, but it's all the way back. Back here, down behind the engine. That's really hard to get to and it's a slightly more complicated job. Thanks for watching and be sure to follow Trionic 7 on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.